Um, I have a, a book forthcoming from Talon Books called How to Write. In How to Write, I've gone through 40 different books uh, across several different genres, from pirate books to adventure stories to detective stories to murder mysteries, and pulled out all the sentences in which the word write or writes appear. Each chapter is a different book. The, book. the chapters are arranged by length. Susan writes, Lewis writes, Neville writes, Jimmy, Ginny writes, even Bernard has now begun to write, but I cannot write. We shall write out our exercises in ink here. We are all phrases in Bernard's story, things he writes down in his notebook under A or under B. I can write the letters straight off, which I have begun ever so many times. I will write a quick, running, small hand, exaggerating the, down, the downstroke of the Y and crossing the T, thus, with a dash. No, I will write the letter tomorrow, directly after breakfast. What did I write last night if it was not good poetry? Then he stretches his hand for his copybook, a neat volume, bound in mottled paper, and writes feverishly long, write, long lines of poetry in the manner of whomever he admires most at the moment. When Louise is alone, when Louis was, is alone, he sees with astonishing intensity and will write some words that may outlast us all. This is poetry if we do not write it. Chapter 97. He picked up his pen half-heartedly, wondering whether he could find something more to write in the diary. Even when you write, even when you write it, you are still thinking in old speak. I've read some of these pieces that you write of in The Times occasionally. Where the lottery was concerned, even people who could barely read and write seemed capable of intricate calculations and staggering feats of memory. It was important to write something down. But you write it very elegantly. Write it down and I'll sign it. Anything. He began to write down the thoughts that came into his head. Chapter 52. Like all men in the library, I have traveled in my youth. I have wandered in search of a book, perhaps the catalog of catalogs. Now that my eyes can hardly decipher what I write, I am preparing to die just a few leagues from the hexagon in which I was born. Chapter 42. But yes, I can also write poetry. And write? It is very good that you are able to write. Very good. And would you write something for me on this piece of paper? It is excellent how you're able to write. Chapter 32. When one writes a novel about grown people, one knows exactly where to stop. That is, with a marriage. But when he writes of juveniles, he must stop where best he can. Chapter 22. It is disagreeable for me to recall and write these things, but I set them down that my story may lack nothing. Chapter 12. Perhaps you can write to me. You will write, at any rate. Chapter 12. Have you been reading the stuff you write? I <laughs> can't write it. Chapter 8. I did not write that message, he stated. Chapter 5. Never mind. I'll write it. So after writing How to Write, uh, or stealing it or compiling it, which was 40 books at random, I decided to up the ante a little, and I'm currently working on a book called How to Edit. The irony will become clearer <laughs> soon. I'm going through every book on Project Gutenberg, all 27,000 volumes, uh, one at a time, and pulling out every sentence in every book that contains the word edit. It starts with an uh, epigraph by Walter Benjamin, but when shall we start, when shall we actually write books like catalogs? So this is, these are excerpts from How to Write Chapter B. So I've done Chapter A and Chapter B, which means I've gone through about 3,300 books to start with and uh, come up with less than 60 books of those uh, over 3,000 that actually contain the word edit. The preface to the novel that opened the series, The Heiress of Bereg, speaks of an old trunk bequeathed by an uncle and filled with manuscripts which the author had merely to edit. I edit it. Why put that into your head when you can edit a paper of this nature? I tell you, I have been in the editorial business going on 14 years, and, this is, and it is the first time I've ever heard of a man's having to know anything in order to edit a newspaper. <laughs> in this capacity, it has become my duty 
as to arrange and edit the different accounts of the mystery, as to present one coherent and trustworthy chronicle to the world. One of the, one of the real pleasures of doing this project, one of the few pleasures of doing this project, <laughs> is seeing how long an author can, can delay using the word edit <laughs> in a single sentence. From old subscribers who write in to say that the current number is the worst magazine printed since the days of the New York Galaxy, and from elderly poetesses who have read all the most popular textbooks of sex hygiene and believe all the bosh in them about the white slave trade, and so suspect the editor, and even the publisher of Sinister Designs, and from stories in which a rising young district attorney gets the dead wood upon a burly po political boss named Tennessee Terence O'Flannery, and then falls in love with Mignon, his daughter, and has to let him go, and from stories in which a married lady, just about to set sail for Capri with her husband's old carps murder, is dissuaded from her purpose by the news that her husband has lost $700,000 in Wall Street and is on his way home to weep on her shoulder, and from one act plays in which young Cornelius Van Sudden comes home from the club at 11.55 p.m. on Christmas Eve, dismisses Dodge Dodgson, his man, with the compliments of the season and draws up his chair before the open fire to dream of his girl, thus preparing the way for the entrance of Maxwell, the starving burglar, and for the scene in which Maxwell's little daughter, Fifi, allowing him up the fire escape, pleads with him to give up his evil courses, and from poems about war in which it is argued that thousands of young men are always killed, and that their mothers regret to hear of it, and from essays of a sweet and whimsical character in which the author refers to himself as we, and ends by, quote, uh, by quoting Birdson, Washington Irving, or Agnes Repayet, and from epigrams based on puns, good or bad and from stories beginning, it was the autumn of the year 1950, and from stories embodying quotations from Omar Khayyam, and full of mellow, pe mellow pessimism, and from stories in which gay nocturnal life of the Latin Quarter is described by an author living in Dubuque, Iowa, and from stories of <laughs> thought transference, mental healing in haunted houses, and from newspaper stories in which a cub reporter solves the mystery of the Snodgrass murder and is promoted to dramatic to the to dramatic critic on the field, or in which a city editor who also smokes a corn, smokes a corn cob pipe falls in love with a sob sister, and from stories about trained nurses, young dramatists, baseball players, heroic locomotive engineers, settlement workers, clergymen, yegmen, cowboys, Italians, employees of the Hudson's Bay Company, and great detectives, and from stories in which the dissolute son of a department store owner works to seduce a young working girl and his father's employee, and then goes on the water wagon and marries her as a tribute to her vir virtue, and from stories in which the members of the yachting party are wrecked on a desert island in the South Pacific, and the niece of, and the, niece of the owner of the yacht falls in love with the bosun, and from manuscripts accompanied by documents certifying that the incidents and people described are real, though cleverly disguised, and from authors who send in saucy notes when their offerings are returned with insincere thanks, and from lady authors who appear with sat satirical letters of introduction from the low, rafish rogues who edit rival magazines. Good Lord! Deliver us. <laughs> yeah. Hamilton first came to him, merely handing him a number of schedules to edit. Edit class or school paper. It is not within our province to edit the historical side of Dumas any more than it would be to correct the obvious errors in Dickens' Child's History of England. We must take the, sub the subject insect in a rather general signification, and if we do that, we can edit together a nice little collection of poetic examples. <laughs> ah, love, could you and I perchance succeed in boiling down the million books we read into one book and edit that a little bit? There'd be a world's best literature, indeed. Thank you. Yeah.